Now, having to read defenses and how complicated that is, well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. On second and ten, Simeon. And Conley's got it over the middle. And he lost the football. But I think a Jet was able to recover, and they'll keep possession thanks to a heads-up play. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And break, the tight end's got it. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. He'll field this at the five. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the Colts coming out now. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go with it. And it's a fumble. And the Jets have recovered. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. All right, here we go. 3 19. Three, 19. Here's Simeon now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Now Simeon. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Desperation time for Simeon on fourth. It's caught. Jones. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Hey, 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 hey. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. 
No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They were stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. Third down, this is Howard. And a stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll run it with Jones. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Fourth down, no problem. It's a good piece of power running right here and a confident decision to go for it. And that's going to get him a first and goal. Jones and he'll get this one back to the five yard line but no further than that only a yard on the pickup there second and goal well Brandon we always know that once you score one touchdown you, you want two <laughs> you're without a doubt and so far today he's got one but was denied as he tried to get the second one Second and goal from the five. They'll run it now out of the goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Third and two, Simeon. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, and such a close game, a very big one. They'll go with Jones. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Matt Jones punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Showing some grits and some guts going for it there. Fourth and goal, pounding it in. And being rewarded for that confidence in the team, huh? The coach saying, let's go ahead and get this. And how about the guys up front firing out, finding a little bit of a crack for them to get through? Touchdown. I love it. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Second down following the run. the shotgun he'll look to throw and he's got his man on the out route and he'll be brought down right around the 37 a gain of four on the play and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard but that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield you want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter can play out wide who can not only get open but when they're covered can uncover themselves downfield and create catches it's a quarterback sneak There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Time for a break. Back to wrap up the AFC Championship game after this.
So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. And as the fourth quarter winds down here, we're all even. And no one wants this game to extend. They want to go ahead and win it right now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And the slot man goes in motion left. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And avoids it. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here we go. Black round. Black round. Black round. Black round. Looking to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Come on, let's go. Brad, 38. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now this game. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Hoosier State will celebrate tonight as the Colts have won it. This was the goal before they started the season, to play in a Super Bowl, and that's exactly what they're going to do. And this is why songs are written about teams. Okay, you go back, some teams wrote them earlier in the season about their goal of getting to the Super Bowl. This one, they're going to be able to break it out now because their goal was to get there, and they achieved it. How about that? That's pretty fantastic.